Here I make you dance like a small bladder pensioner. Shout out this week to Steve-O. Like many burglars, Steve-O always liked to take a crap on the carpet of the house he was robbing. Unfortunately, last week Steve-O had diarrhea and the police just followed the trail home like a kind of a scatological Hansel and Gretel. And here, a man who is smoking hot. The girls like him a lot. His knees sometimes get shot. You know him as Pablo! Respect, Pablo! On tonight's show, we have Big Brother winner Brand Below. Pepper Skipper. From The Apprentice, Ben Clark. Santa Snob. Music from the live boudoir from Silhu Et. Our quiz brain dead, but before all that, some music! Right, Bobby. Wonders never cease. You're early. Your girl's up on blocks. Charming. So what were you doing last weekend, then, mate? When I fit day, me and Chantel up a coast. To where? Giant's Causeway. The Giant's Causeway? Aye. What's that, like? Shit. I would have thought you uh, would be more at home at, the, you know, the Giant's Ring. What's that? You never heard of the Giant's Ring? No. I thought you would love a Giant's Ring. Why? Well, actually, do you know what goes on there, right in the car park? What? Dogging. Oh, I've done that. You've done dogging? Well, you know I'm a very exotic man, right? And Chantelle said our life needs spaced up. And right. she suggested dogging. And she said, what's that? And she says, you go up, right? And you get at it. Right. You've a bump on uglies in the car. Right. And people come up, have a wee look at you, right? And Just some, like strangers? Just like total strangers. Watching you at it? Totally, right? And you put the window down. Right. And that gives them a wee signal that... Pop a ladder. So you like flash the wee lights and say, right, come on over, lads. That's exactly There's a bit of action going down. Window went down, right? right. Me and Chantel going at it. Right. Fella pops the other ladder. Right. Chantel thrashing about a wee bit. Right. Off comes the bedroom slipper. Hits the electric window. The fella might walk in three weeks. Oh my god. He chopped off his walt? Up for assault, mate. Nightmare. This week, I would like to apologise to all the fat people out there. The medical advice I gave out last week was wrong. It turns out that crying while eating an entire tub of haagen will not help with weight loss. Hey, what's that noise? That's the lift. Who is it, Pablo? It is our next guest, a Big Brother contestant. Some people think of him as an idiot of Big Brother, but we prefer to think of him as a shackle road intellectual. Please welcome Big Brother Supremo, Brian Filo! <laughs> <laughs> can, I get a, can I get a whoop whoop? Can I get a whoop whoop? Can I get a whoop whoop? So Brian, tell us this. How has the whole Big Brother thing changed your life? Because I'm sure it's kind of opened a load of doors for you. The whole Big Brother thing changed my life. Um, I suppose Big Brother changed my life massively. I was able to get a flat. I was able to sleep with Gunner Girls. I was able to go out clubbing to nice places. Nice. <laughs> Are you a bit of a Mr. Lover Lover man? Oh, no. <laughs> No, no, don't, don't, because <laughs> then girls can start thinking I'm a player. I'm not a player. I'm not a player. Are if anything, sure? I, girls play, I get played. Really? Honestly, I get played so much more. I haven't had a girlfriend in about two and a half years now. So what what, what about the bird off that big brother? Uh, that was, that was the last, like, my last girlfriend. No. Is it that long? That is, my, I think that was probably my only girlfriend. I've had girls in between, but I've, that is my only actual proper relationship. Brian, the next time you go off, it's going to be like a shotgun. <laughs> No, I've, 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 I've had <laughs> sex. I've, no, no, oh, I, mean, right. no I'm, I mean, I'm, I don't mean I haven't had sex for two and a half years. It's, it's a really funny type show. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brian, tell me, at, at the time that you were dating, was it Sam or Amanda? It was Amanda. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, that you kind of were very hush-hush about, but you tweeted when you filled your treasures on a train. <gasps> was that a bad decision? Was that a bad decision? Do you know what? The thing is about me, I'm very honest. And what happened, I know what happened there. I, I, I'd only just really been on Twitter for a little bit at that point, And I didn't realise how many people use Twitter. And so when I said, oh, don't, I've pulled myself on a train. <laughs> I thought, <laughs> no, but I, so I, I thought, wait a minute, I can't ring anyone up and tell anyone this because I ring people, people in my carriage and then be able to know that I've just shit myself. So <laughs> and I said it was becoming it, apparent. But if I tweet about it, then I'll be able to get some advice, sort of thing. And then, so I tweeted about it. 
And then by the time I got from my home, so for, from the train to my destination, it became an article on metro.co.uk. <laughs> and, and then by the next day, I was like, okay, well, everybody seems to know about the fact that I just shit myself. What is the worst insult that anyone has ever thrown at you? That, that I appear to be like, like I was dropped on my head as a baby. Right Didn't about. do me any harm. I know, but you know the funny thing was though, the other day I was sitting there with my old girl and she was talking to someone, she was like, oh, do you remember when Brian's a baby and we dropped him on his head? And I was like, what, you dropped me in my head as a baby? She's like, yeah, but there's nothing wrong with you, I said. I was like, you sure there's nothing wrong with me? I've got all the tabloid clippings calling me dopey and stupid. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> I only found that I was dropped in as a baby. That's probably why I'm quite stupid. You went to school with uh, the other big brother winner, uh, Chantel. Yeah. Me and that Chantel. must have been quite a school. I mean, like, quite special. It is a very special school. And do you know, the winner of Britain's Next Top Model 2007 also went to my school as well, Lauren McAvoy, because we were in the same class. Yes. Can, can I ask you just uh, what sort of music you like? Because I'm going to play a track now. Just really quick, Ooh, what music? I like funk, yes. I like right. funk, yes. Okay, we're going to play you some hard house. Right, here we go. Yeah. It's time for a track. <laughs> Do you want to learn some Belfast-isms? Oh, proper, because we could come out in Belfast and have it up, wouldn't we? Happy yeah. days, right. See, right, there's the three of us, right? Yeah. We're fanning through the streets of Belfast, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's uh, a couple of girls at a bus stop, right? Yeah. Right? Are they, are they hotties? Oh, uh, of course proper they are. Of course they are, right? Proper shorts, right? Oh, we short skirts and everything, right? Loving it. We wind yeah. the windy down, right? Yeah. Wind the windy down, and you just go past them. Dead, dead smooth. Really, really classy, sophisticated, right? Yeah, yeah they're What? You what? Get her buck. Get her buck? Or alternatively, give us a buck at ye. Give us a buck? Buck, buck, buck. Like. Boys, you've heard of that one. Do you know what you need to do? You're going wrong. What? Boys, I'm not lads, I'm not not trying to teach your granny how to suck eggs or anything, but at the end of the day, you need to learn how to sweet talk a bird, show right. a bit of your personality okay. and all. Okay, you can't go up to birds like some sort of chav giving it like that. They're gonna tell you to jog on, mate. Do you wanna be like, wind down your window? Right. Go, oh excuse me, sweetheart. Excuse I wanna me. I, I, I wanna know whereabouts X is as she gets closer and she's about to give you some advice, go. Oh, babe, do you know what? I really love your eyes. I've never seen a lady with such great eyes as yours. And at this point, at this point, can you introduce her to the crippler? Depends how, depends how filthy she is. If, or if, how unconscious she is. Yeah, I mean, oh, I, you don't want to go in from unconscious, though, son. I'll be honest, I'll be honest. I usually find that they're quite uh, pliable in that state. Yeah, they are, but there's the whole thing of prisoner cell block H and everything. Yeah. I mean, I honestly don't want to be going down that route. Do I you think do you think you might have uh, you know, if you were in prison you might be like passed about like some kind of Christmas cracker? <laughs> like a Christmas cracker. Why? <laughs> I would use you as currency in jail. I'd be alright, I'd just hire you out to Mr. Big. So you're 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 gonna pimp me is what you're saying, yeah? Yeah. Thanks very much. But I can tell because you boys like me. I think we've got a bond. We've oh, got yeah, a bond, man. Don't oh, we? We're cool, we're cool. And, I, and I'm realising that Pablo's your main man. So if I get on Pablo's good side, I'm on good side of everyone. That's a bit. You're, you're Pablo's little bitch, I can tell, aren't you? Ah, <laughs> you're my bitch. You are Pablo's <laughs> bitch, you're aren't bitch. you? You're proper a bitch, <laughs> right? You're the bitch of a relationship <laughs> trying to give me the bigger, like, yeah, this Sticky is how we do it. Up your hands, up your heads. Sticky Pablo is my tells bitch. you what to do, mate. Sticky is my bitch. <laughs> Sticky is my bitch. You are my Bitch. Bitch. Are you two quite finished? Bitch. You are. You have hurt my feelings. I can't hurt your feelings. Well, you have. But why don't you go and get a nice manicure or something? <laughs> or a wee pedicure, maybe? <laughs> oh, pedicure. Don't you talk to me. Done? Don't talk to me. Don't your makeup all run. Don't be getting upset. Shut up! <laughs> You'll get rinsed. Yeah, Brian, yeah. You'll get yeah. rinsed like a wet yeah. towel rinse. But he's getting his makeup rinse. running here. Yeah. That's not far. I thought you were my mate. I thought you were my mate. Oh, I'm your mate. Come on, it's a bit of friendly banter, You're isn't it? You're not my mate. Where's some stuff? We're not, we're not mates no more. Not mates no more. Sticky? 
This is banter. Brian, don't listen to him. It's his time oh, of the month. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, all right, all right. We're mates now, it's cool. It's all, he it's fancies all cool. you as well. It's all cool. Brian, you, you were rightly hailed as the first ever black winner of Big Brother. That is do, true. That is... Do you think your victory gave Barack Obama the courage to run for president? <laughs> Honestly, I, yeah. think it, I, I think it did. Because even when he was going in for his presidency and everything, I was like, oh, shut up. Barack Obama. No one had ever heard of Barack Obama. Who would, oh, no thank one, you very much. He was much. just not on the scene at all. No one. And he's supposed to be American. I'm not mean, how many famous black Americans are there? I mean, why couldn't Jay-Z or P. Diddy be president before Barack Obama? I, I mean, he even released a good album yet. I mean, what have you heard that's any good that he's released? Did he? No, I'm talking about Barack Obama. Oh, right, because Diddy's brilliant. At the end of the day, Jay-Z has done a lot for America. He has. He has. I mean, he's gone around, he's he's made love and not war with Beyonce, he's able to got crazy in love on the Futurettes, and he hasn't been given the respect he deserves by the government of the USA. You're right, Brian. Brian, it's time to go. I hope you're going to tweet about meeting two extremely radically cool and handsome gays in Belfast. I will do. Don't worry, I'm tweeting about you now. Well, right, see you later, right. boys. Cheers, Brian. Pablo, see the man out. See and uh, maybe try and make sure he avoids the toilet. I don't trust him. Right, nice to meet you, Brian. Right, Mars, Sean? Nice yeah. to meet you, mate. See you later. When the door's open at the bottom, right, that's when you get out. Hope he leaves that left away he found it. Brian Bellother, rightly healed, healed as the first black winner of Big Brother. Nice to know that Martin Luther King did not die in vain. Here's Stakes. What? Stakes. What? You know what I found out last night? What? Did you know that there's stuff on the internet that isn't porn? <laughs> Aye, right. It's deadly serious, mate, right? There's like other stuff, right, on the internet that isn't porn. What? Like, it doesn't have tits in it? It doesn't even have small tits in it. Man, it's amazing! So what's that stuff like? I don't know, I was too busy wanking. Here, mate, turn over the radio whilst the Riggsy's on. Riggsy? That's even worse than this crap. He is shite. Yeah, fair enough. Right, what's next, Pablo? You have a caller in lane one. Hello, and who is the next caller who we may help? Hiya, my name's Kieran. And how can we help you, Kieran? I'm feeling depressed. Oh, oh here, Kieran, is that you from the Bally Flip Flats? Yeah, it's me, mate. How you doing? Oh, I suppose you're feeling all suicidal because everybody knows that your girlfriend's bucking anything that moves, aye? Eh? What? Marianne's cheating on me? Oh, Jesus, no. Oh, uh, no, no. Uh, whatever gave you that idea. Brilliant work, our Sticks. Sticky, do you think there's life after death? Ah, What do you think heaven's like? The river's... Our WKD. The girls are so full of silicone they bounce, and all the doll clerks are trusting and naive. And what do you think hell's like, Lurgan? <laughs> well, here, what's that noise? It's the left. All oh, right, who is it? It is today's Bond. It is one of the most promising female singers I think I have ever heard. Is it Pixie Lat? No. Is it Duffy? No. Gary Lightbody? Better than that. It's a band called Silhouette. Hey, yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey, hey, hello. Hello. What's the crack with this band? The lead singer of this band is she's called Shauna. Red. Hi. Hi, Shauna. Hello, Pablo. Hey, yeah. Hi. Here. Hold on a minute. Uh, <laughs> Pablo. Uh, <laughs> I think you fancy her. No, no, <laughs> you no, do. no, don't do you that. Do. Yes, you don't scold her. Ha ha! Pablo, you love her. Don't you love her. You want to marry her. Don't don't scold me for that bar shop. You want to marry her and have little padlet. Shop. You do. So here, tell us, Shona, about your band. How long have you been together? Ah, uh, for about I don't know, a year and a half, two years. Do you have a website? What I? We've got a website. <laughs> a website. <laughs> right. Um, do you want me to give it to you? Yeah. Okay, it's just on Anytime. the Anytime. It's just, <laughs> well, it's myspace.com forward slash silhouette official. 
Old fashioned. Yeah. 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 Know how to spell silhouette? We'll give it a go. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> right, go on in then. Let us hear what yeah. you're made of. Bye. Bye. Cheers, bye. bye. See ya. Bye. 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 Shora. <laughs> Shora. Bye bye. bye. You are so in there. She was undressing you with her eyes. I get she that had that tracky top off you. I get that a lot. Right, now on to the mystery quiz where our caller has two minutes to guess our mystery item. Once more, we're playing with returning champion, Giles. Giles, are you ready? Ready. Your time starts. Mm -hmm. It's something to kick. Um, is it the poor? No. Mind you, a lot of poor people worship this item. Oh, Jeremy Kyle. No, it's leathery and was at its height in the 70s. Tom Jones? No, no. Um, is it a huge underground structure that scientists are using to try and isolate the Higgs boson particle and replicate the Big Bang? But isn't that large Hadron Collider, no? Uh, has it appeared on the internet with a banana, a donkey and one of the weathermen of Sky News? No, it's not Sticky's Ma. It's round, full of air, everyone would love to kick it and people often get very annoyed about it sometimes. Oh, you haven't brought Stephen Nolan into the studio, have you? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, right, is it a football? Balls, how do you do that? Every flippin' time. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh, look, there's a lift going. Who is it, Pablo? I don't know. What do you call him, the wee fella? What's his face? Our next guest often hears people saying that he puts up a plucky front. Or at least that's what he thinks they're saying about him. From The Apprentice, please welcome Ben Clark! Hey. I think you've got a fire in the kitchen there, lads. Sit your wee self down there, Benjamin. How you doing? I am exceptionally well. What about you? I'm not too bad, thanks, lads. You're looking well. I don't know, I'm getting a bit fat, to be honest. Yes, you are. Ask your Ben Clark from The Apprentice. That's a rather unusual surname, Clark from The Apprentice. Is that Dutch Irish? <laughs> you know, the big forehead would suggest it might be slightly Dutch. So, Ben, how are you getting on at Sandhurst? Unfortunately, it didn't go. What? I should have gone, shouldn't I? He lost his battle. He lost his battle. <laughs> did, you, did you chicken it? An egg, then? <laughs> Are you maybe waiting till David Cameron pulls the troops out of Afghanistan so you don't go and get your balls shot off? I don't know, I could get posted to Northern Ireland, couldn't I? Yeah, there'd be plenty of people who would quite like to shoot the balls off you there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it. Well, that's, what, that's what I was thinking. Good things are interesting. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And you were on that Dating in the Dark show, yeah? I was an absolute mare. <laughs> absolute disaster, yeah, that's right. You were blown out by a girl with massive big jugs. I know, they were class. Yeah. Why do you in think, the dark. Why do you think that happened? Did the lights go on? I think she kind of realised that all I wanted to do was motor booter. Um, and from there, <laughs> just... Well, sorry, what? Do what? Motor booter. What's motor boater? Boat her? What? This is what you do. You stick your head between his tits and you go... <laughs> like that. Oh, motor boat. Yeah. Right. He said, motor boater. <laughs> you're posh, we can't understand you. Sorry about that. I love the way he talks. <laughs> bom, bom. <laughs> bom, bom. Say, say hi now, Brian Kai. Hi now, Brian Kai. Hi now, Brian Kai. Hi now, Brian Kai. It's hi now, Brian Kai. Say it. Hi now, Brian Kai. That's George. better. <laughs> By George, nice I think he's talking. got it. Now you're talking proper. Good man. Okay. Good man. Well, listen, we want to ask you a question because of your incredible business acumen okay me and pablo here we have a uh how would you describe it a uh a lucrative flower yes flower distribution yes. business yes. have you any advice on how we could expand our business into further markets and territories <laughs> without increasing the chances of the psri beating in our back door pay them off mm. yeah, <laughs> the boys got the smarts <laughs> would you be our business manager would you like to come on board and sell flour for you. You see, if you're carrying any merchandise, won't be able to search you because you're looking underage. You, you got, you got to think about it. Right. Running a running a flour business is like running any other business, right? Uh, in terms of economics, if you take the world's big flour producers based on in South America, the way their operations are run, very very similar to the way any other major Fortune 500 company is run. Is that right? Same structure. It's um, just, am I? It's just a different product. Am I actually like the CEO? Technically, yeah. C-O-C-K, more like. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Ben, stay there. Do not move a muscle. And uh, we'll be right back after this here. How long? <laughs> now, you 
appeared on a, 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 the RTE show Lords of the Ring. That's Was right. that like a, the remake of Queer as Folk? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't far off, to be honest. It wasn't mm -hmm. far off. And was uh, it like boxing, yeah? It was boxing, yeah. Who were you fighting? Uh, well, I actually got pulled out by the doctor um, before I was nice. uh, before I got the fight. Did you get pulled off, lucky. yeah? Yeah, it's got it. And who were you meant to fight? I was meant to fight Paul Martin. Oh, the showbiz, the showbiz journal from the mirror. Easy, easy. Has he been slagging off easy. your show, lads? No, he was slagging. He's just been he's been milking the whole Stephen Gately thing, and that's a big idol of our Pablo's here. So yes, Is it? you know it's a bit personal. I never forget you, Stephen. He had the greatest technique of standing off the stool at the key change that I've ever seen. He was. He was the <laughs> master. To match him. The master. The, the Gately. Master. That move is now called the Gately. The, the Gately. So how come the doctor pulled you off? Uh, I had a suspected aneurysm on my head. A what? Or in my brain. Wow, so they discovered you actually had a brain. Brilliant. Yeah, I was delighted myself. You know. At that stage in life, that's oh, pretty yeah. handy. Mum yeah. and Dad threw a party for me and everything. They, Brilliant. You know, they were as shocked as I was. Ben, this being a music show, right? Being mm -hmm. a radio station, that we do often ask our guests what sort of stuff they like, like music wise, like band like. What do you like? Love Snow Patrol. Shade. Kings of Leon. Shade. Shade. What do you like? Scooter? Chesto. Scooter. Scooter. Chesto. <laughs> Nice one, bring the beach pads. <laughs> you feeling it, Ben? I can get into that. Right, Ben from The Apprentice, where are you going to be in two years' time? Uh, hopefully in somewhere like Hong Kong uh, on a trading floor, making lots of money. Is money really better than sex? Well, that's a good question. But uh, what actually happened there was I only said it to get on the show. You've got to sell to your audience. And if your audience is a, a load of researchers, you know, tell them what they want to hear. Right, that's OK. I was just wondering in case maybe you were actually you'd never had sex. It's a ridiculous thing to say. It's, it's quite a likely thing that could have happened, to be honest. You know, ugly mug, fat keg. I've got terrible chat for women, honestly. Have you got bad breath too? Uh, yeah, bad chat, bad breath. Tiny wiener? Tiny. A weenus? Oh. A mangina? The weenus? Uh, I've been known to sport the mangina once in a while, yeah. I think our work here is done. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Ben Clark from The Apprentice. Yay! Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Thank you, Ben. Show the man out and then lock the door, please. Hey, shall we? <laughs> Toodaloo. Well, I'll play about, you know, the whole Sandhurst thing and all that, but listen, mate, pleasure to meet you. Good luck. Thank you very much. I'm going to need it. Aye, Sandhurst, girl gauge more like. Ben Clark there! Ben of course famously said that making money is better than sex. Obviously, he's never been rimmed by a Portuguese hooker while another sucks coke off his bell end. Our thanks to Jackie Fullerton for that observation. Jackie Fullerton. Jackie Fullerton. Jackie Fullerton. Jackie Fullerton. Jackie Fullerton. Jackie Fullerton. Jack E. Fullerton. Jack E. Fullerton. A league leader's Linfield. All playing all Liverpool. In a Liverpool. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Two, one. <laughs> <laughs> David Healy. Northern Ireland. And we've got a big shirt out here for Seamus from Fermanagh. And that's from his auntie, his mother and his sister. Ah, oh, three women who love him. Well, no, it's just the one woman, actually. And who is the next caller on the line? Hey, it's Graham here. Graham, oh, what can we do you for, mate? I was just wondering if you would have the use of a trink. Well, let's go. Uh, how big is the thing that you want to drug? Uh, I'm not sure that we can help you there, Graham, mate. Johnny, I don't think we're going to get a dart gun. Just beat it to death with a shovel or something, right? Thanks, Lord. That was useful there. Listen, I don't suppose any of you fellas know anything about the Avery train. Do you not screen these calls? Right, producer Pablo, produce this. What are we doing now? It is time to sojourn to the boudoir to hear that band that we seen and were talking tilt earlier on. They are Silhouette and this track is called Volume Destroyed.
That is one hell of a fancy bracelet your bird's got. Nah, she's on bail, that's an electronic tag. Oh, that's awful! Oh, I awful funny, it's been miswired. Every time I send her a tag, she pisses herself. 